Right now, I work at Christ Community Chapel, I work with the middle school and high school students, and I love it. It's, it's crazy, it's wild, it's always changing. We have all kinds of students that are through the door. Um, so most of my time, though, I spend with high school students and with other adults that are pouring into them and uh, writing curriculum, preparing a series, all kinds of things like that. So I love it. My name is Val O'Brien. I graduated in the class of 2005 and I work at Christ Community Chapel in Hudson. CVCA definitely grew my love for God's Word. I feel like this is the place that I learned to really study it for the first time where I really started to understand it. Um, I remember, and there's just little snapshots of conversations I remember having with teachers and with different administrators around here, but one of them was um, with a Bible teacher of mine, Charlotte Andrews, and I remember her saying, um, that there's only two things that are going to be eternal that are on this earth today, and that's people and God's Word. And so you should spend your time with your eyes always focused on those two things, because that's what's eternal and that was, that's what matters. And yeah, all these years later, that has stuck with me so much, and no matter what you know I was planning on doing or pursuing, I have always kept that as uh, one of my focuses, thinking and about how can I be investing in people and how can we just continue to um, pour over God's word and learn from it and apply it to the world that we see around us. But whenever I walk the halls here, there's something, um, I always look at room 105 because that is the room that like one of my mentors had when I was growing up and when I was here. And I just remember the hours spent in there, not just only in her class, but in the conversations that I had with her and helping her clean up and just kind of our back and forth. And there's so many of those conversations that I remember. And there is just something so sweet to me now, even when I walk by um, room 105. And I think, oh yeah, that was the start of, um, that, that was the rumbling that kind of happened in that classroom and in those conversations of what the Lord was, was doing in my life. And, so, yeah, I always think about that when I walk past it. Some days, some days if I think about it too much, it can put a little lump in my throat just thinking about kind of where things started and where the Lord has taken me and His faithfulness to me through the whole process. So, yeah.